Who of you has a smartphone? It's almost like asking someone for his age. Because if you're over 100, maybe you don't have one. But otherwise, everyone has a smartphone. I think my story will be interesting for you. And those of you that don't have a smartphone, maybe I give you a reason to buy one. It's about energy that I'm talking to you. It's not all that technical that I was introduced uh, for. But I will show you an entirely new way to use your smartphone to capture the early warning signals of your body and to use signals to stimulate those cells that need it, that are a little bit sluggish. But before I... Um, show you how this is done, and I tell you how this is possible. Well, I have my office in Arnhem, and I only have to walk 100 yards, and I am in the park of Sonsberg, a beautiful city park. It's situated on a hill, and from there you have a view of Arnhem. And at a beautiful spot, there is a monument. And when you climb the stairs to that monument, you are standing face to face with the great Nobel Prize winning physicist, physicists. And you see their names in stone, almost for eternity, like the laws of nature that they discovered. You see the figures of Planck, Bohr, Maxwell, Einstein, but the central figure of this monument is Lawrence. And thanks to Lawrence, we can build electro engines. We can compute with which force the magnetic field pulls at electrons. And that's happening to us all the time because there are so many waves in this room. They're pulling at the electrons and influencing us. We just don't hear it, we don't notice it. I wonder when I sit there, and I'm full of admiration. I wonder why these great discoveries of these scientists haven't been used in a very important field, in the field of healthcare. Why don't we use electromagnetism to stimulate our body to heal? Why don't we use all sorts of electromagnetic waves to support our body? Well, technology has brought us incredible number of advantages, of benefits. And medical diagnostics, it can't be thought without modern diagnostics of X-ray, EEG, ECG, the mini scans that you have. There are devices, implantable devices for our health, like a defibrillator or a pacemaker. There are some technologies with current to support your health against pain or deep brain stimulation. But that's not all. Most of healing is about biochemistry, about popping pills, about a career maybe in pills when you're chronically ill. But there is one field that um, needs a major change. You see, the study, the academic study in the field of healing is called medicine. That's a bit one-sided. In 1903, Neil Stinson was awarded the Nobel Prize for medicine. And the committee wrote in recognition for his contribution to treat diseases, especially lupus vulgaris, with in, um, energized and light radiation. He opened a new avenue in medicine. <coughs> Think of that, a new avenue in medicine. Well, that was in 1903, we're now in 2015, and that new road, that new avenue, has been obscured for many reasons. But we are electromagnetic beings. 
every living cell in our body is a small, tiny energy plant. It generates a tiny current. Through our nerves, the current flows. Our muscles contract in reaction to a tiny current. But the magic is, where there is a current, where there is power, there is a field. When the power flows this, the field expands like that. And when you have a field, you influence electrons and you can generate a current. That's what these great scientists told us. So, we can influence the processes in our body with electromagnetic fields. And electromagnetism is the light that we see, but it's also invisible light. It's a whole wide spectrum. It's invisible light, and of all this light, we see just this tiny little bit. And we can use that to benefit ourselves. In our body, there are many structures that are susceptible to magnetic fields, like thousands of wires in which we can generate fields. Now, how do we know what's good for our body? How do we know that what we are sending is beneficial? With what signals can we stimulate healing? Well, our body knows. Our body knows. From second to second, it's managing all its functions. It's monitoring everything from your nose till your toes. It knows every demand. It helps to repair. So our body knows. We have the nervous system, the nerve, autonomous nervous system, that part is doing that. And we are being taught that the autonomous nervous system does that primarily with neurotransmitters. That's the biochemistry part. Two and a half thousand years ago, the Chinese, they wrote for the first time formally a different picture of how our body is managing itself. It was written in metaphors, and they taught how to feel someone and to are diagnosed by the tongue. They painted maps of the preferred energy pathways in our body called meridians. Here's a picture. It's an energy picture. They described how the energies flow through our body, how they interact with each other. So that's a different picture. And thanks to a lot of research, we can now measure these currents in our body reliably, accurately. And every change in these measurements has meaning. Now, being an electromagnetic being, we can influence that. With signals, we can, when the energy is too much or when it is too low, we can sedate it or we can stimulate it and we can retune our body. Now, you can't use just any signal, not any wavelength. You need a wavelength that is addressing the cells that need it. You need to be able to transfer energy with your smartphone and the small device to the cells that need it. And when you do that, the patient doesn't say, or yourself doesn't say, ouch. No, you feel a tingling or relaxation or pain dissipates, or those people that don't feel anything, usually a couple of days or hours later, they notice, hey, that complaint disappeared. Now, I have trained many medical doctors all over the world, from Iceland to South Africa, um, from Tehran to um, uh, Hawaii, and so forth. And I trained them to measure these frequencies in your body and to apply them according to the rules of um, Chinese medicine. And they can help people with a lot of very mean diseases that remain chronic, so by pills it can't be helped. But with this, even resistant bugs, you can treat with electromagnetism, with radiation, very soft, very, very soft, so your phone can generate it. So that's a very hopeful situation. It's very um, thing of the future. And why is it so, so uh, beneficial? Why is it so good to use? 
It's good for the environment. It reduces travel back and forth to the practice of your doc doctor. We have no production cost. It doesn't pollute. You have the technology to apply this to you and to link yourself to the doctor in case you have questions. And when you go to the doctor, this is how a measurement looks. I took a conspicuous one, not the newest one, because that way you wouldn't see it. But this is how you measure yourself. And it's sent to your smartphone. And then you see your results. And from that, from this feedback, you learn the language of your body. Oops. <laughs> from that, you learn the language of your body. And it tells you which meridian is the weakest. It tells you how your mood changes and how you felt changes with your meridians. So you learn which behavior is bad for a particular function. And it even shows you how to change your behavior, your mood, your thoughts. It, it shows gymnastics, exercise. And you can stimulate yourself because it shows you the places where to hold it depending on your energy profile that you just measured. And your smartphone is doing that job by generating the signals. So the central point of my talk is it's very optimistic. We can use this envisioned pathway more than 100 years ago, now that we all have a smartphone. It makes you, to a large extent, independent, able to manage your own health and that of your kids and spouses and loved ones. If you need help, you go to the medical doctor who knows about meridians and, and systems like these. So that's my vision for the future, to build a network where professional people back up the people that have a smartphone and would like to use these small devices to support themselves. Thank you.